rumour about Logan Sargent potentially losing his seat after Miami in favour for a young Kimi Antonelli. What do you reckon? Oof. Do you reckon he'll be ready? He's an F3 or two? Two, F2. Two. Okay. But the thing is... Look, I don't, I don't really know much about him. I heard he's the next bloody... Ed yeah. Senna. Oh. Ed Senna, Max Verstappen, bloody Seb Battle, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I think... Look, I think that's better than chucking him in the Mercedes next year, for sure. Yeah. Um... And yeah, I reckon it'd be alright. Why not? They got nothing, they got nothing to lose. Not like Logan's gonna do any better. Mm. Well sorry, not that Jimmy can do any worse, well, you know. That's true. Um personally though, Williams by all means, Williams, yes, Kimmy, you know, if they want to get rid of Sergeant, by all means. But I want I would much prefer Kimmy to cook in F two for the rest of the year, you know, to get more experience. Cause one, he's not even eighteen yet, so he's legally not allowed to race in F one yet. F1 has a rule where you have to be 18 or older, so he has to get permission by it from the FIA to actually do that. Um, Didn't bit, Max race before it, I think? I, they changed the rule after that. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I can't remember what year they did that, but personally, I would love to see him see out the rest of the F2 season and then jump in the Williams next year. Um, I personally would prefer that. I reckon they'll give him some more experience um, because we have seen some drivers get in there and who do well in Formula 2 and to do crap in Formula 1. We have seen that when they're not ready. Like Nick DeVries, for example. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, he didn't have a great car. Like, Williams, yeah, he did well. But when with that Alpha Tower at the time, it just, like, it just shows maybe he should just wait a bit. And uh, that's my opinion there. 